Hey everybody, this is Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama, and I thank you for uh, continuing with us as we examine uh, Second Kings. This is the course called Passing the Mantle, and in this lesson, uh, we're going to see a guy named Naaman. Now, Naaman was a captain of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man with his master. He was highly respected, and it was because of him, because of Naaman, that the Lord had given victory to Aram, okay, and that's the enemy of Israel. So we're going to see a lot about the Aramites and about Naaman. He was a valiant warrior, but he had a problem. His problem was that he was a leper. And quite often it comes up, well, how could he have been a leper and done all this right here? Because I thought that lepers were always ostracizing the people. Well, there were varied forms of leprosy. And there was also the idea if you were totally white, you could hang out with them. We'll see that later on. Okay. And, but anyway, he had a problem with leprosy. Well, you see him. And then we also see this character, which I'm going to call a captive girl. And this girl was from Israel. She had been captured by what we will see later are called marauding bands. Okay, They would go out and just capture people and, and pillage and do things like that. Well, she was brought back as a servant girl, and she served Naaman's wife. And one day, this captive girl, now remember, she had been taken from her homeland, been brought to a foreign country, been made a slave, literally, and she was serving the wife, and she made this comment. She said, I, I wish, not that I with, but I wish that my master were with the prophet who is in Samaria. Then he could cure him of his leprosy. And what you see right here is uh, just so many things. You see faith in, in the prophet. You see faith in the Most High God. You see compassion in a girl that had been abused, that had been captured, that had been hauled off. You see concern and you see trust, not only in God, but also in, the, in her master and in her master's wife. Well, Naaman hears about this, and so he goes to his master and told him what the girl said. And that took some, uh, some strength and some faith right there. And the king of Aram said, you know what, go, I'll send a letter to the king of Israel, go see if you can find this prophet. Go see if you can find healing. So Naaman left with silver, with gold, with clothes, with a lot of stuff, and we're going to see more about that later. But for today, let me just ask you this. Do we have this kind of faith? Do we have the attitude of this captive girl right here? And, and do we seek our answers and our solutions in the Lord? Even if we're in a, in a desperate situation, in a hard situation like she was, do we speak out when we know that it is the Lord God who has the answers? Take these things before the Lord and see what he says to you. Again, I'm Dale, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.